in today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the unique properties of detailing on hard versus in the water. Some of the challenges and um, things to watch for when you're doing either. This boat obviously is up on the hard. And one of the benefits right off the top is I can get right up to the area I'm working and see exactly what's going on, as well as being able to get right down to the water line and not having any issues. With this boat, it's a different story. Obviously, it's in the water. And you can see I'm having to get creative on how to keep the work close to where I am by stepping on that line and pulling the boat in. The boat's kind of drifting away, so I'm having to do a little acrobatics there. We do boats in the water all the time, but there's definitely some challenges to them. And so just kind of knowing what to watch for, um, learning little techniques and tricks to help get it accomplished really makes all the difference. Uh, I'd say the biggest difference for doing boats in the water versus on the hard is you really end up in some funky and precarious situations doing it on the water. Um, a lot of stretching beyond where you really should, um, having the boat move on you when you're in that really far out stretch, especially when you're doing the bow of the boat um, on the hull. Just having things moving around while you're trying to be consistent is definitely a challenge. Um, and just being careful of not dropping the buffer in the water or dipping it in the water or getting too close to the water uh, really becomes a challenge and, and something you've got to be super aware of and careful of. Obviously, you don't want to get electrocuted with a power cord dipping in the water um, that maybe has a grounding issue or anything like that. Um, you don't want the head of the buffer to get in the water and then bring that into your work area because wax and water don't mix well. Those are just a couple of the challenges. Um, right here I'm kind of stretching behind myself and just getting as much of the boat as I can without moving and then working that water line right there. On the boat that's on the hard, obviously I can get all the way down to the very bottom and never have to worry about being close to the water. When I'm doing this boat, I'm having to be conscious of how close I get to the water with that buffer because even just being right above it can sometimes stir up the water. Uh, this particular polisher is an orbital, so it's a lower speed, um, but it's also a random orbital, so it has Instead of a circular pattern, it's got kind of an oblong circular pattern. So it's a little bit of a challenge knowing where it's gonna drop to all the time because it, it, it varies, right? 